Okay, so I have all my coffees here in a bowl. I'm mixing them all up. And I'm not going to look, I'm just going to pick one. French toast! Yay! Okay, let's try it. Hello, Yarna Bees. Guess what today is? It's December 1st. And that means that today is the first day of the 25 days of blissness that I am doing with Rosalie at Yarn It Out. Yes. So, got my first cup of coffee for the first day of December. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, well, that's different. Doesn't really taste like French toast. Hmm. They could up the cinnamon, I think, a little bit. But it's not bad. Put a little hazelnut creamer in there and I'm sure it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, so that's one down. Hmm. Okay, so for those of you that are new that don't know what the 25 days of blissmas is i'm going to let you know <clears throat> last year i came up with this idea like you'd see a whole bunch of gift exchanges on youtube where people exchange gifts for the 25 days of christmas so i decided to call it blissmas because it's so much fun and you're in so much bliss to get gifts from someone that is a yearny friend right so uh, I reached out to yarn uh, to Rosalie at Yarn It Out, and I reached out to Sandy Duda from Left Is Right Crochet. <laughs> Last year was a bit of a fiasco. Rosalie got her gifts to me, um, and Sandy did not. <laughs> she <clears throat> not from the lack of trying, I'll tell you. She sent them off, but the Kansas City Mail for some reason, wouldn't let it go. <laughs> and it took forever. So I went through the whole Christmas and didn't have the box. So then we thought, okay, well, let's do it on January 1st, right? January 1st came and went and I didn't get the box. I told Sandy to start opening up her gifts on the 1st. So she did. She reluctantly, she was like, no, I'm not going to do this unless you're doing it with me. And I'm like, no, 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 you shouldn't have to wait. So go ahead and, you know, open up your gifts. So <clears throat> first, second, third went by. And I think it was the first week, somewhere in the first week or the second week that it finally showed up. And so I had to open up a whole bunch of gifts to catch up to where she was. <clears throat> excuse me and so I mean that was good for me but uh yeah so we finally got through our January um uh fiasco and it was so much fun so <laughs> this year um I would I doing it with Rosalie and I asked Sandy if she wanted to do it again and she went sure and then she sent me a message back and went, no, she says, I totally forgot that we're supposed to go on a cruise. So I'm like, okay, well then let's do the January thing again. Right. She's like, yeah, okay. So she ended up not going on the cruise. They canceled the cruise, the cruise line canceled the cruise because they wouldn't let anybody into Hawaii because of the whole COVID thing. So we could have done it in December. <laughs> And then by that time, it was too late for us to get packages together and everything for January. So now we're planning on doing something in February <laughs> for Valentine's Day. So, yeah. So it's been a bit of a, you know, fiasco trying to, to do this. So <clears throat> I, I also um, talked to Billy Crafty Floridian and asked her if she wanted to do 
um, the blissmas and she said sure so then I found out I asked her I says okay so um, I, I asked her some questions I can't remember what it was but anyway she says oh I thought we were doing the 12 days of Christmas and I was like oh okay great so I says okay so when do we start that 12 days before Christmas Day and she says no we start that on Christmas Day through to January I was like oh <laughs> oh okay <laughs> I had no idea I I'm not religious and I have so I have no idea what the 12 days of Christmas is and I'm gonna learn so I I looked it up and I was like oh okay so the the song the 12 days of Christmas kind of put some things into perspective <laughs> I've been singing that song since I was a kid and I had no idea. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, so, so I'm going to be learning something new. So I'm going to be doing the first 25 days of Blissmas with Rosalie and then I'm going to pick it up with Billy until the um, first week of January and then we're going to have a little break and then February 1st, Sandy and I are going to start our um, 14 days of Valentine's Day. So there, now you've got the background story of all of this. Huh, shall we get into it? Okay, so have another sip of this weird coffee. I've got 25 days of this weird coffee. <laughs> Actually, I've got 40 days worth because it was a 40 pack. Okay, so gift number one. She says, Bazinga. Get it, buzz. Yarn of bees. <laughs> she says, I almost kept this for myself. Enjoy. Okay. And Rosalie loves gnomes. So, there you go. Okay, crinkling. I'm trying to keep it away from you so it's not going to crinkle so much. Oh, no way. Oh, you guys, look at this. It's a bee basket. <laughs> wow, all of that for some junk mail. <laughs> it was the, it was the uh, mailman. <laughs> anyway, you're getting yourself so upset you're sneezing. <laughs> okay, isn't this adorable? Oh my goodness, that is new yarn bowl. Hey, yeah, yarn bowl. Awesome. Thank you, Rosalie. That is so cool. Your store has come up with the greatest stuff, man. Does it say what store this is? Hello, Summer. No, it doesn't say. But I bet it was like Joanne's or something which we don't get up here in Canada. This is so cool. This is really neat. I am totally putting yarn in here. This is going to be my project bowl. Yes, totally. Awesome. I understand why you'd want to keep it. <laughs> Mine. Okay, so I decided that I was going to do a little trivia. Yes, I am. So you guys are getting involved. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a question, okay? And then you guys are going to comment down below and see if you get your answer right, okay? And then tomorrow, I will tell you what the answer is, and I will, I will start a new question. Got it? Okay. So today's question is, the movie Miracle on 34th Street is based on the real life department store. What is it? Hey, okay. If you know the answer, put the comment, put it in the comments down below and tell me, I'll say it again. The, on, on the movie, A Miracle on 34th Street is based on a real life department store. What is it? Okay, 
So put that in your comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's see. See if you got it right. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Don't forget to go over to Rosalie's to see what I got her. And uh, her link will be down below. I am also making a playlist for this. It's going to be called Blissmas 2021. So you can check my playlists and see all of her videos and all of my videos all in one spot. Okay. So yeah. So let's kind of go back to that. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. This coffee. I don't know. <laughs> so come back tomorrow and see what I get tomorrow and see what the question is for tomorrow. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm hoping you have a wonderful December 1st and I will talk to you later. Bye.